Hey folks, I would be lying if I said I haven't been thinking about what's coming next for the Zelda series over the past month or so. The most recent installment, Tears of the Kingdom, released back in May of this year, and I do really love the game and still continue to enjoy talking about it, but the inevitable growing thoughts of what's next always happen. Where does the mainline Zelda series go following what was one of the most ambitious and crazy adventures to date? It's such an interesting and intriguing subject to discuss, despite knowing next to nothing about whatever Nintendo and the Zelda developers are cooking up for us with their next big project, I have a lot of random and curious thoughts about this topic. So in today's video, we're going to have a little talk about what's possibly cooking already for the next project, as well as look at the very little things we do know from developer interviews regarding the next Legend of Zelda game. Be sure to go and grab yourself a delicious snack and or drink. Subscribe if you aren't already, big thanks, and let's get into this one. The biggest thing that I find myself thinking about when it comes to the next Zelda game is the world. The Kingdom of Hyrule, or perhaps an alternative land. The kingdom that we've explored for countless amazing hours in Tears of the Kingdom is the same kingdom we spent even more countless hours exploring in Breath of the Wild. These two games share the same base world, with the sequel game building on it and expanding. However, it feels very complete now, and with not much more room to expand further, especially in the context of the next game. This is where some recent developer interview quotes provide rather interesting insight. In a recent interview with series producer Eiji Aonuma, he talked a little bit about some details going forward with the series. He firstly stated that he doesn't think they'll be making a direct sequel to the world which they've just created, as well as mentioned how they plan to move on from the new innovative, innovative, innovative mechanics of Tears of the Kingdom to some degree, as they created them perfectly for that game. He specifically mentioned how they've already exhausted the possibilities of what they could put into this world. I've put the full quotes on screen and will also link the article below. The main takeaways from this are that they definitely feel like this world has reached its potential, or limits so to say, and that they want to move on to an entirely new setting, whether it's Hyrule or somewhere else. We don't know yet. We can also take away that the next game won't be a direct sequel, so the idea of a third game to the Wilds era, perhaps in a nearby land, doesn't look very likely. That is something that I am very okay with, as whilst I absolutely adore and love this Kingdom of Hyrule across these two amazing games, I do feel it's time to move on and do what the Zelda series does best. Change, reinvent itself, and evolve with each new installment. That is exactly what excites me so much when thinking about what's coming next. The world as a whole, yes, but all the other things that come with that such as the potentially new and different art style, music to fit whatever the vibe is, and all the little environmental details scattered across the land. I don't think I really need to argue the point much, but creating a new world is very much a good direction to go in. Trying to squeeze more out of this current Hyrule would honestly start to ruin it a bit if you ask me. Let's leave it here and move on to something new. In this very speculative world, we could expect some changes given the track record of how much Zelda games change visually from title to title. Ocarina of Time, The Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, Skyward Sword and Breath of the Wild are four of the <coughs> biggest Zelda games and they all look pretty different. From the more realistic to the pure cartoony, to the sort of in-between. Zelda games change, and it's one of the things that make them so iconic and memorable. It sets each adventure apart really well, so whatever is coming next could see this theme return. Just the idea of perhaps a kinda similar art style to these last two games, but change it up a bit. Maybe make it a little more gritty and dark feeling. Definitely no Twilight Princess mega fan bias there. Nope. Not me. Or just change it entirely into something wacky and unpredictable. The Zelda devs would and very well could do that. Another thing that we can expect is a different vibe to the world this time. Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom take place in a slowly recovering post-apocalyptic world. It's not extremely full of life. It's 
half destroyed. Next time around, it very well could be the case that we're playing in a much more lively and full of life world. Something a lot more active. The majority of the towns and villages packed with life. Castletown alive in its full glory. And tons of NPCs and side characters. I'm dreaming big, but I do believe there's a very real chance of things going this way. Obviously, fit around whatever the story of the game will be, but that's something we just simply cannot say much about yet. As an extension of those things, there are also going to be new enemies, music, and mechanics. A very good chance of a new Link and Zelda. All stuff we know nothing about again, but it's just very fun to think about and come up with little ideas in your head. The other big thing to consider when thinking about this next game is that it's going to be on whatever Nintendo's next new system is. The Nintendo Switch is approaching the end of its lifetime as the current console for the company. It's very possible that next year in 2024, we get an announcement on a new console. We cannot say when a Zelda announcement will happen. It could be alongside it. It could be sometime after. But the main thing is that it's going to be on whatever the next console is, meaning more power to create the game. I'm not huge on a game needing the absolute best graphics out there to be the best game out there. I believe a good game is a good game by its contents and experience. To a certain degree, of course, but for the most part, I don't care if it's only 720p or 1080p, whatever. Having your game in 4K is nice, sure, but it isn't integral to making a great game. Saying that, things that might have not been possible on the Nintendo Switch could become very possible on the next console. Graphics aside, the more powerful console also leads to a more powerful engine, and potential when it comes to mechanics, puzzles and what the game can actually handle. All of this will contribute to the next big Legend of Zelda game. Before wrapping up, I'd also like to talk about one of the things outside the game itself, but on the topic of the game that I am really looking forward to. The pre-release hype train. From the moment it's announced, to the waits for a new trailer, the hype explosions on the internet, and eventually, the release. I absolutely love the hype train phase. It's sometimes a slow and frustrating thing, but it makes the wait all the more worth it when we get our hands on the game. This goes for both as a content creator, but more so a fan. I love talking to everybody in the Zelda space about the upcoming game, discussing wild and crazy ideas, theories and whatnot. Going back and forth to try and figure things out, and just generally see the absolute buzz and sometimes chaos a new upcoming Zelda game can cause. I'll be honest, it does overwhelm me a lot. There is always a pressure during it all, but it's all fine with how awesome it all is. Just wait. The moment we get even just a little tease of a new world to explore or different art style, things will be so exciting. And most exciting of all, there's a very good chance the early stages of planning out and whatnot are already underway. Zelda games tend to start work not long after release, and given there will be no DLC for Tears of the Kingdom, it's safe to assume that the next game is currently in the early stages of planning. Thank you very much for watching, you lovely person. I appreciate it so highly, and if you enjoyed, please do subscribe for more fabulous Zelda content, as well as drop a wee like down below. Cheers for that. What do you think about the next Zelda game? I know we know basically nothing, and probably won't for a little while, hopefully not too long. I just love thinking about what Nintendo were cooking for us next, and wanted to get some of my thoughts out. So yeah, let me know what you think. Big thanks to my awesome channel supporters for your incredibly generous financial backing of the channel. With a very special shout out to new supporter, Tara Janes. Big thanks for that. I have YouTube memberships as well as Patreon if you'd be interested in supporting my work. Thanks again for taking the time to check out my video. I wish you all an amazing day or night, and until the next time, I've been Hyrule Gamer.